But first, final preparations are underway for one of the most important votes ever to take place in global sport. The election of a new FIFA president, football's governing body, is on Friday. Its reputation is in ruins after a global network of bribes for staging World Cups was revealed, dating back to the 1990s. Current President Sepp Blatter was banned from the Games for eight years, though that was reduced to six on appeal this Wednesday. Now there's an opportunity for FIFA to put football's focus back on the pitch with a new leader. Dan Williams has this report from Switzerland. One final FIFA Executive Committee meeting ahead of Friday's Congress that should see the election of a new president. Five candidates are in the running to replace the now banned Sepp Blatter. The election will now go ahead after candidate Prince Ali on the left of the picture lost a bid to have it suspended. He had voiced concerns over the integrity of the voting process. FIFA's credibility is in tatters, but World Cup legend Cafu hopes that will now change. The most important thing now for football is that these processes must be transparent. I don't want to talk too much about FIFA. It is more important that everything will be done in a transparent way. Cafu was talking at the opening of the FIFA World Football Museum, an event overshadowed by the recent scandals. FIFA hopes Friday's Congress will bring change, and not just because of the presidential elections. FIFA's problem is, is almost not who leads it, it's how FIFA itself works going forward and how it controls itself. This is why on Friday, more important than the identity of the next president, is getting the reform package voted through because that will define the restrictions on the president, everything that outsiders have really been uh, praying for. He may be banned from football, but the image of Sepp Blatter continues to loom large here. This museum was, after all, his idea. And despite the recent controversy, the museum is quick to point out the influence the 79-year-old has had on the organisation. He's been general secretary and then president over the last 40 years. So he has had an impact on the organisation. And you see the work of FIFA and the members' associations here in the museum, so you see the result of his work. There's not about, we're not about personalities here in the museum, it's really about the result of the work of FIFA. Many questions hang over FIFA. On Friday, the organisation hopes to at least start the process of providing a few of the answers. Dan Williams, CCTV, Zurich.